What's up, YouTube? Sir Hunts Reviews, and in this video, I'm going to talk about Game of Thrones Season 6 potential episode titles. Now, my favorite people over at Watchers on the Wall actually did a survey where they put up 10 episode titles, and they had people vote, and these 10 episode titles, I'm fitting to read you, were the top 10 choices. Alright, hope you guys enjoy. And once again, if you're new to this channel and you haven't already done so, make sure you click like, subscribe, so that you can get more amazing content like this, because you never know what I'm going to be doing in these videos. You never know. I had my girl straighten my hair just for this video. Enjoy. I'm going to make a slight comment. Um, the way I was sitting, like this, kind of looks rather pervy, so I'll adjust that. I am, in fact, wearing shorts. Just thought I'd make that clear. But yeah, we'll get started right off into this damn motherfucking thing, bruh. Episode 1 is, in fact, the King's Mood. We all know what's going to be going on there. Balan Greyjoy was shown alive in the teasers, but he could die part of, the, part of the way through the episode, thus causing them to have King's Mood. Episode 2 is going to actually be called Winds of Winter. I don't know how much credibility that one has. Mind you, once again, these are not the official names of the episodes. These are coming from Watchers on the Wall, a poll they did. So, they're more than likely going to be close to these. But these are not the official titles released by FB HBO. I need to start getting better at saying that in my videos. Because uh, recently on my Plot League videos, I've been getting a ton of fucking views. One of them has almost 15,000, which is fucking insane. Because it hasn't even been out for a month. And I have less than 500 subs. But, anyway. Um, I've been getting a lot of trolling comments. People saying, like, you're a fucking idiot. I can't believe you're going to think that Lady Stoneheart comes back or... or you, you were fucking hopeful and wishful thinking, motherfucker, watch the video before you comment. If you're that person and you're watching this video now, you're an idiot. Um, Just just watch the video and, and, and read what I say, listen to what I say, because it's at the beginning of the video. I say, look, this is a, this is a fucking subreddit post comment. And, and, and if you're that person that, that I'm talking about, you know who that are, because, I mean, you know who you are, because you wrote the comment on the fucking video. But, dude, just, just actually watch it and then go to troll. Don't preemptively make the comment and then fucking it not make any goddamn sense you know what i'm saying like you 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 basically watched like three seconds of it's like oh you said lady stoneheart i'm gonna fucking go troll like nah bitch read the shit watch the shit do something i call those people keyboard warriors because they know if they ever met me in real life they wouldn't say none of that shit like this dude went to go on to say you're fucking stupid you're a fucking moron like if you're gonna blatantly insult me Fuck you. It's one thing if you're saying, like, I disagree with what you're saying, and that's kind of a stupid thing to say, but you didn't say that. You came after me personally, so guess what? Fuck you. Alright, so moving right along, I'm not talking about any of my wonderful subscribers. I'm talking about this one person in particular. Not going to say names, but they left a comment on one of those videos. You can go find it if you want to. Episode 3 is going to be called Family Duty Honor. Now, we all know, book readers, show watchers, that... <clears throat> Family Duty Honor is actually the House Tully, like, mascot. Not not mascot, but, like, their motto, basically. Okay, so that's probably going to be the River Run episode. Jamie has had two episodes to kind of go back and deal with the shitting in King's Landing. Um, he'll probably get sent. Well, I don't know, actually, man. I'm not going to speculate too much on that. But it's called Family Duty, Duty Honor, so it's probably going to focus on the phrase and what's going on in River Run with uh, Blackfish. All right? Alright, um, episode 4 is, if this is the actual title, that would be so fucking awesome, but it's, it's, it says it's going to be called Tower of Joy. Oh, we know what that is. Um, Ned Stark, Lyanna Stark, Arthur Dane, Jon Snow. Howland Reed, maybe. Dead Arthur Dane, definitely. Ned returning to Starfall to return House Dane, Blade, and then Ashar Dane jumping off the building. All of those happen. Hopefully we'll get to see at least what happened at the Tower of Joy. Then in episode 5 you have Khaleesi Vossi, which is Queen of Nothing um, in Dothraki. So that's obviously going to be a heavily Daenerys influenced episode. Episode 6 is going to be called Crow's Eye. Maybe that's the episode where we'll see Euron and his fleet of Ironborn warriors attacking the coast of the Citadel in Old Town. Maybe that's where we'll have the initial interaction where he goes in and gets that Horn of Winter that everybody loves to believe is going to bring down the wall. I think it could be a number of things. I think that thing might just... I think it's it's too far. If it's in Old Town, that's, that's, that just doesn't make sense. I would like 
smack Dan and Dave in the face for doing that. Because it's like, like 500 miles away. Like, come on, dude. It's not even that big of a horn. Like, that's not believable at all. But then again, you have flying dragons and zombies, so whatever. Um, episode 7 is going to be called The Long Nights. Excuse me, I can do that better. The Long Nights. Yeah. <clears throat> that's probably going to be a super fucking northern based episode. We'll probably see Jon Snow in full action. You might see him... If, if they do wait till episode 7, it'll be pretty late in the season to see us get his justice against his captors. But it would make sense because episode 8 and 9 are usually those episodes where they show the big, big, big battle sequences. We had Hard, hard Home last season, and then in season 4 we had the Battle at the Wall um, and, and at Castle Black. Um, episode 8 is going to be called The Mummer's Farce. That's probably going to be one of the few episodes that we get focusing on Arya and Bravos this season. Um... The Mummer's farce probably has something a lot to do with that. Or, since she's like pretending to be somebody else, pretending to be somebody else, basically, to work in her way in the situation. Or it could actually be uh, focused on varies. Um, I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Number nine is Winter is Coming, or Winter Has Come. Um, that's obviously going to be that big Battle of the Six Armies. You're going to get um, Ramsey Bolton being slain, hopefully. Um, and I don't know, maybe we'll see winter falling in, in fucking King's Landing. I don't think so, but we'll see. And then number 10 is going to be called Valencar. So that's obviously that prophecy where Jamie is going to stab Cersei in the back of the neck so that you can see the sword come out through her mouth. <laughs> well, there's, there's several videos out there on the Valencar theory. You guys can go check those out. There's one on... Um, smoke screen, and there are a few other ones. I think Charlie and Westeros has done one, and I think a couple other guys have done one. But I've noticed I sub to those people too. In the comments, a lot of the people that subscribe to me subscribe to them as well. So yeah, you guys can check one of those Valencar videos out. Um, it's gonna kind of wrap this video up. Let me know what you guys think. Um, of the episode titles, once again, I'm going to read through them real quick. Number one was King's Moot. Number two was Winds of Winter. Number three was Family Duty Honor. Number four was Tower of Joy. Number five was Queen of Nothing, or Khaleesi Vossi. Number six was Crow's Eye. Number seven was The Long Night. Number eight was The Mama's Foss. Number nine was Winter Has Come. And number ten was Valencar. All right. So, yeah, you guys let me know what you think. Um, uh, maybe you could twerk, tweak the words around a little bit, but I think that's... They also pick those episode titles going by their known spoilers and the time that those spoilers were filmed. Obviously, the first spoilers that come out are going to be from the first few episodes because they film it episode 1 through 10. You know how it goes. Um, if you guys already haven't done so, make sure you click like and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this fucking crazy-ass hairstyle. Sorry for keeping this video kind of short, but there's not much Game of Thrones news nowadays. And... We're getting closer and closer to the season, and as soon as they drop that initial trailer, I'll try to get a lot more consistent with these videos. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Sir Hunt's Reviews. Um, make sure you click like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I want to shoot for like 420 likes this video. <laughs> 420. <laughs>